Another case of an integral involving a rational function is the integral of x squared plus 3x plus 5 over x cubed plus 8 dx. So this involves a rational function and we are going to evaluate this integral using partial fractions. So the first thing to do is whether determine whether the given function or fraction is proper or improper. So as you can see here, this is already a proper fraction. So the next thing to do is to factor out the denominator. Now we can see that the denominator is the sum of two cubes and we can factor that out using the formula. Remember that u cubed plus v cubed equals u plus v times u squared minus uv plus v squared. Okay, so our given integral therefore is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 5 over, that's x plus 2, you just extract the cube root of each term there, times x squared minus 2x plus 4. So as we can see, it's a product of a binomial and trinomial, wherein this trinomial is not factorable anymore. So we have a dx here. So we will now resolve this fraction into partial fractions based on its denominator. So as we can see, we have a linear denominator that is not repeated and a quadratic uh, factor in the denominator that is also not repeated. So this is for case number one and case number three. So we write our fraction as x squared plus 3x plus 5 divided by x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. Now we equate that to there is a fraction with a denominator x plus 2 plus another fraction with a denominator x squared minus 2x plus 4 such that for the linear denominator the numerator is a constant and for the quadratic denominator the numerator is linear in the form bx plus c. Next thing to do is to multiply everything with the denominator, that's x plus 2, times x squared minus 2x plus 4 to eliminate the fraction. So what's left on the left side is only the numerator, x squared plus 3x plus 5. And on the right side, for a, we cancel out x plus 2. So is a will be multiplied to x squared minus 2x plus 4. And for bx plus c, remember to put that inside the parenthesis. We are going to multiply that. We cancel out x squared minus 2x plus 4. So we're going to multiply that to x plus 2. Then the next thing we do is to distribute. Okay, so that's a times x squared minus 2x plus 4. We're going to expand this now. That's bx squared plus 2bx plus cx plus 2c. Then we equate the coefficients of the quadratic, the coefficients of each term of the variables on the left and on the right. So for the variable x squared, term x squared, the coefficient on the left is 1. And on the right side, all the terms containing x squared, so we have a and b. So we write a plus b. For x on the left side, we have 3. And on the right side, we have negative 2a plus 2b plus c, okay? So that's negative 2a plus 2b plus c. And for the constant, on the left side, we have 5. And on the right side, we have, what do we have on the right side for the constant? So we have 4a plus 2c. 4a plus 2c. So we have three equations, three unknowns. It's linear systems of linear equations, and we can use that using our calculator. You can do that manually, but if we use the calculator, it would give us a result. Okay, using calculator, it will give the give us the values of a, b, and c directly. So for the value of a, that would give us one fourth. For the value of b, that's 3 fourths, and for the value of c, that is 
2. So after getting the values, we now substitute. That would be the integral of 1 fourth over x plus 2 plus 3 fourth x plus 2 over x squared minus 2x plus 4 dx. So we separate them. That's 1 fourth integral of dx over x plus 2 plus 3 fourth integral of x over x squared minus 2x plus 4 dx plus 2 integral of 1 over x squared minus 2x plus 4 dx. So when you encounter cases like this, where in the denominator is a non-factorable quadratic for factor, there will always be it will be always be separated into two fractions, such that when we integrate the two fractions, one can be evaluated using simple substitution, and one can be evaluated using the formula leading to inverse trigonometric function, inverse tangent function specifically. So if we let u, in the case here, if we let u be equal to x squared minus 2x plus 4, then du equals 2x minus 2 dx, or that du over 2 equals x minus 1 dx. Okay? So that, what we have here is that we only have x in the numerator, so we can subtract 1 from there, but we have to add also 1, so that we are not changing the given. Okay? So let's rewrite that. Our numerator will become, so let's rewrite this again, 1 fourth dx over x plus 2. Take note that we're multiplying this by 3 fourth, so that's 3 fourth integral of x minus 1 plus 1, what we're grouping this, okay, over x squared minus 2x plus 4 dx plus 2 integral of 1 over x squared minus 2x plus 4 dx. So that we have 1 fourth integral of dx over x plus 2 plus 3 fourth. We separate this again, plus 3 fourth integral of x minus 1 over x squared minus 2x plus 4 dx plus 3 fourth integral of 1 over x squared minus 2x plus 4 dx plus 2 integral of 1 over x squared minus 2x plus 4 dx. So you see here, the 1 here is separated into another fraction. Take note that we're still multiplying by 3 fourths. So in the case here, we can add these two fractions. And we can now integrate this. So that's 1 fourth integral of dx over x plus 2 plus 3 fourth integral of x minus 1 x minus 1 dx is du over 2 so that's du over 2 over u plus we are going to add these two 3 fourth plus 2 is 11 over 4. And what we do with the denominator is that we express this as a sum of two squares, u squared plus v squared, by completing the square. Okay? So for x squared, let's write that here, x squared minus 2x plus 4 
is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 3, right? And this x squared minus 2x plus 1 is a perfect square trinomial. And we can write that as x minus 1 quantity squared plus 3. So that's already in the form of u squared plus a squared. Okay, so let's rewrite our given. That would be x minus 1 squared plus 3 dx. And that's already integrable. Wherein our a, take note that our the value of our a is square root of 3. So integrating, that's 1 fourth ln of x plus 2 plus, this is 3 fourth, but we also have a 2 here, so that's 3 over 8 ln of, what is our u there? That is x squared minus 2x plus 4 plus 11 over we have 4 here, but we're going to multiply it to 1 over a, which is square root of 3. So that's 4 square root of 3 arc tangent of u, which is x minus 1 over a, which is square root of 3 plus c. And finally, that is our answer.